welcome everybody to my latest video just back with a few pickups so yeah i haven't put out much content lately due to having a really bad cold for about a month just couldn't get rid of it uh, but now it's gone and i'm feeling a lot better there wasn't many car boots on anyway due to bad weather here in the uk but i managed to finally get to a uh, like a sort of midweek boost on a friday I got there and there was only about 10 cars and i thought i'm right, not going to find anything here uh, but I uh, stumbled up on my usual chap that sometimes finds me a bit of gaming. He got me, uh, I don't know if you saw a past video, he got me in NES with some Game Boy games that I got for a fiver. Uh, and I've had a few of the bits off him over the uh, the last few years. Anyway, I approached him and he said, oh, I've got something for you. And he pulled out this box. And uh, yeah, all I could see were the games on the top. And I thought, oh, this is uh, this is cracking. So yes, we found some retro at the car boot sale. Did you say retro at the car boot sale? No. So uh, yeah, I'll show you what I've got. In the box was a mass system. First one. Uh, already got one of those. Uh, I'll tell you what though, when I got it, the condition of the stuff in the box looked like Josie Wells himself had uh, spat chewing tobacco all over it. It was, uh, it was pretty grim. There was spiders in there. And, uh, yeah, I've given it a bit of a clean up on the outside. Might need to open it up and give it a, because there was quite a bit of dust and stuff inside there. Cleaned it out a bit, but uh, I might have to open it up and give it a proper clean. But I've tested it and it does work. <clears throat> I was playing one of the games the other day on it. So yeah, got that. <clears throat> Along with it in the box was the light phaser unfortunately i haven't tested this but it's got a um it's been taped up so i'm not too sure what i'm going to do with this um yeah anyway come with that that was in there <coughs> the official uh, <coughs> power supply and the official power supply alone go for around 15 pound on ebay so yeah, happy to uh, to get that in there. It was a um, just one pad. I've opened it all up and give it a really good clean up. It was disgusting, absolutely disgusting. You know, it looked like a kid had had all his grubby fingers over it over the years, and uh, all his food and dinner was all stuck in the buttons. So I opened it up, cleaned it all out, cleaned all the contacts, put it all back together. So yeah, that was in there. Um, so I've got all that stuff. So that's going to be moved on. I'll tell you what I paid for everything at the end. But the bits I'll be keeping is there was a, the control uh, control stick in there as well. Uh, not got one of those. Um, so yeah, that's something that I'm going to be adding to the collection. Pretty nice condition. After I give it up a clean. And then the games... <coughs> excuse me the games the first two i've already got so there's a copy of altered beast in there like i say the condition of the box boxes on the outside were disgusting but i give them a wipe over the baby wipe and not too bad this one has got a bit of a rip in the inlay and in the thing but luckily i've got this one anyway but it is all in there And then there was a copy of Sonic 2. Already got it, but uh, it did come complete. But my copy was missing the manual, so I snagged the uh, snagged the manual and put it in uh, in my copy. There is a bit of damage to this case as well. I've actually swapped this out. I'll show you what. There was a copy of Lion King. Not got this. So all the rest I've not got and I'll be keeping. So yeah. Quite nice condition now i've given it a bit of a wipe over it's all in there complete the manual's got a few marks and that but yeah, i'm happy enough with that but this is the one this this was the case um the original case that uh that was in because it, you can see it's damaged the inlay but it doesn't look too bad and i'm not that fussed but uh yeah that was the sonic case but um so yeah keep these are the ones i'm keeping those i've got it was a copy of 
uh, Lucky Donald Caper Donald Duck. So yeah, another one for the collection. Like I say, it's a bit grubby the manual, but it's all right for me. There's a copy of the Ninja. Another one to go to the collection. <clears throat> Complete. This is pretty good condition. And a copy of World Grand Prix. This is, uh, this is pretty decent condition. <clears throat> and then I saw this in the box. The first game I saw and I thought, oh, brilliant. I've been uh, wondering about getting this game off uh, CEX. Just never pulled the trigger. So, yeah, I think it goes for about £12 in CEX. So, uh, happy to see that. But when I opened it up, <clears throat> the manual was in there, which has got, someone's put a teacup or something on it and stained it, but that's not the end of the world. But it was <coughs> Action Fighter. So out of all of them that I really wanted, the Blooming Game is the wrong game. So anyway, I've got a copy of Action Fighter loose. So I'll be looking out for a box for that. The Vigilante, I managed to um, get a copy off eBay for about three quid. So I'll make that complete when that comes. So yeah, that is everything. That's everything I got from this, this just one pickup. I say... Um, like I say, it was absolutely filthy. It was uh, pretty disgusting, but you know, it's only it was only surface really, and all sort of cleaned up. There's a few little scuff marks to the system, but nothing too bad. And what did I pay for it? Right, twenty quid. Twenty notes. What a bargain! Yeah. Um, I thought that was a really good deal, just for the games alone. I thought it was a good deal. So, uh, yeah, happy to stick a, a few games in the collection. Move the rest on, make, make more of them money back. So, yeah. Anyway, that's it for this video. Just a short one. There'll be other pickups to come in the future. Still got loads of stuff to do. So, yeah, appreciate anybody that's subscribed and uh, all the people that have stuck with me. And, uh, yeah, until the next time, uh, everybody stay safe, take it easy. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.